Namaste, beloveds. I'm Alana Fairchild, and I want to talk to you today about this thing that happens on the spiritual path where sometimes on the road to getting better, whether it's resolving an issue or a problem or a trouble that we've had, we can sometimes feel a hell of a lot worse. You know, what is that about? <laughs> So there's two things to remember with this. One is the quality of the suffering and the second one is the capacity of the soul. So what does that mean? The quality of the suffering doesn't mean that we necessarily suffer less, at least in the short term. What the quality of the suffering means is what is its actual nature is it the kind of suffering where we are just recreating the same thing over and over again in this loop of psychic momentum driven by unconscious pain that never gets resolved and therefore never stops hurting? We just end up attracting maybe the same kinds of energetic experiences. Even if we are trying to change relationships, for example, we end up with kind of different masks but the same sort of player behind the mask and so the pain never alleviates that is the quality of suffering that is psychically driven through unconscious momentum when we get onto the spiritual path and we're doing our work we're actually learning to become more aware of what our drivers are what the unconscious pain is and we dive in to deal with the cause rather than reacting to the symptom so is there suffering for a time yes there is no doubt about it sometimes when you're about to go really deep into something spiritually you're about to have more of a heart connection with divine guidance or just at the cusp of a breakthrough you are often in that really dark place of dealing with something incredibly painful but the difference between this type of pain that comes up on the spiritual path as a kind as opposed to the kind of pain that you have just you know in the unconscious day-to-day -day way of living is that the pain that you deal with on the spiritual path is unraveling you actually look at looking at breaking the circuit becoming aware and being able to liberate it so it's the kind of suffering that leads to healing it's a healing crisis, perhaps you might say, but it's leading to breakthrough, even if you break down sometimes on the way, and we'll all probably have had that experience at different times, but there's a constructive aspect to it. So that's the first thing. The second thing I mentioned was capacity. You know, what does that mean? Essentially, as we grow, we develop spiritual muscle that can manifest in different types of strength. In a strength, it can be the strength of trust, the strength of faith, the strength of being willing to endure not knowing and a process of uncertainty because we have this sense of connection to a greater guiding love that is within us and all around us, that spiritual intelligence of the universe and of life itself, and we know how to lean into it, develops quite a lot of muscle. That muscle develops capacity. That's the capacity to lift things that you couldn't lift without that muscular strength at a spiritual level. So what that actually means is you're able to deal with things in the soul and at a really deep level that you wouldn't have necessarily been able to do before. When you're grappling with something that's maybe a really core wound for you that maybe if you believe in reincarnation, you know, you've inherited over lifetimes or it might be say an ancestral lineage thing that has you know generations of your uh, family line that have been carrying this through and you're the one that has the spiritual capacity to begin to halt it in its tracks and not perpetuate it through another you know seven generations and actually instead be able to work with it within yourself and your own spiritual journey so capacity basically means sometimes it's just really darn difficult but again, because you remember the first principle, it's actually going to alleviate it. So, yes, sometimes things get tough on the spiritual path. You know, when the going gets tough, the tough gets spiritual. So <laughs> we accept this. But we also have this understanding that it isn't just about things getting harder and harder and more difficult as you progress in your levels of mastery. The way we're able to work with things, sometimes the swiftness, certainly the depth and the quality of what we're actually able to heal when we have that heart connection with our own spiritual intelligence and the divine love that infuses and permeates this universe is actually quite amazing so I just wanted to share that with you in case you're going through a struggle on your path and you're kind of thinking what's the point you know I didn't really sign up for this that I can remember and shouldn't things be getting easier 
sometimes yes, sometimes no, but the ultimate thing to remember is where is this actually leading rather than am I always feeling happy in every single moment? It's probably not a realistic human expectation, but certainly we can understand that our capacity to tap into that happiness and that sense of joy increases when we can have at least some kind of context for when we do go through those difficult times. If you're on the spiritual path or even if you're just thinking about it, Feel free to reach out to our team. You can find us at alanafairchild.com and we'd be happy to share with you some different courses and things that we're doing that might be of benefit to support you in developing that spiritual strength and just staying true to that awesome soul journey that you're on. So much love from my heart to yours. Namaste. Namaste, beautiful humans. I'm so happy to be able to share this content with you. If there's anything you'd really like to see a video on, please make a comment below so we can keep that in mind for future projects. And also, if you want to hit the bell button and the subscribe, you will be notified of future videos that we create. So much love and gratitude for sharing this time together. May your path be truly blessed. Namaste. Namaste.